Look at how this is starting to break right here. Right along that edge. That is not gonna make Gappy happy. This is probably one of nature's coolest things to find if you're a beekeeper. If you're not a beekeeper, well, maybe not so much. This is an open air colony. What happened is, is there was a large swarm of bees and you can see there's a lot of them. They came from somewhere way out there and they were traveling somewhere way out there. This was a resting spot. There was probably some kind of huge cloud of bees flying around up in the air around here and they decided this was gonna be a break point for them to take a rest for overnight and unfortunately for them, there was probably a weather pattern that come through that either got really cold or really wet. And about a week ago, today is Sunday, and about eight, nine days ago, we did have that weather front come through. It rained and it rained heavy for about two days. The bees got held up there for a while. They were clustered, they were cold, they were wet. And that's generally how we end up with these open air colonies. Yesterday, the homeowner was out here and he was trimming some of this off the fence and as he swiped down, all of a sudden he found bees. We're gonna take and trim a bunch of this stuff out of here and uh, get it to where we can access them. We may have to go on the other side of the fence because there's a lot of bees back there. But I'm about ready to do it. Let's have some fun. Just give him a little puff puff, let him know I'm here. Tools of the trade. I actually should charge this guy more for trimming his shrubs for him. Now that we can get in here to it, man, this thing is huge. That thing is beautiful. Somewhere, right over here in this middle, there's a queen hiding up in there somewhere. All right, gang, let's see what kind of mood they are in. All right, make it easier on me and have an opportunity to not lose that queen. We're on the other side of the fence. One branch helping support that while the biggest bulk of its weights holding is right here and that's already starting to crack. Hello. Save that for the kids. So the plan here is just to do the same thing we do in all the removals, just reduce the numbers down wonder if this will come off without messing up too much. Let me see this one right here. Thank you, ladies. There you go. That's a nice piece of comb. I'm on the other side of this fence. If you see a queen over there, you better yell at me and tell me. But so far, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to take it apart as it goes further back towards the fence. The only piece that I'm really worried about is this one right here. I think that stick right here is about the only thing that's holding that thing from falling. So I'm trying to be real careful on that. But bees are moving back further in. Things are looking good. Man, I'm enjoying it so far. All right, so let's see if we can't get a little bit of this one detached. Right in here. All I can do is just follow the sticks. Let's go ahead and pull that down. Look at all that brood. Man, they've been doing good. Look at how this is starting to break right here. Right along that edge. That is not gonna make Gappy happy. They're still being as nice as they can be. Thank you, ladies. The unfortunate part about this right here is we're getting so many bees in this little cluster that queen could be hanging out anywhere in this mix and while i'm vacuuming we could actually end up catching her we can go ahead and get this out all right good deal we're about to have some problems i guarantee it let's try to get this piece off right here so if i cut right there see if this will come out it's kind of held up back here there we go there 
There we go. Now we got access to some bees. Hey girls. Now we got access. Good deal. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go back around over here and try to get this piece cut off and get to the bulk of them right there. This was the piece. This is the piece I did not want to fall off. Let's see what we got left. Man, if I already vacuumed that queen up, I am going to be so mad. Is she right here? I mean, there's still a chance she's right there. Don't want to drop a single bee off of this. Just in case she is in there. Where are you at, girl? I ain't seeing her. Dang it, we vacuumed her. She's already in the box. All right, girls, you ready to go home? Take a ride to Yappies. And now the last thing that we got to do is just get them into a hive. I've looked in the box and I do have my queen in there. Let's just make this real easy. And. So, there they are. I bet you that queen is right over there in that little ball. Okay, fine. So you wanted to see the queen. Uh-huh. I thought you would. Well, let's look around and see if we can find her. Is she in the box? Or is she in the box? Help me out here. If you think she's in the catch box, then comment afterwards that she was that you think she was in the catch box. If you think she's in the hive, then at the end of the video, comment that you think she was in the hive. I'm curious to what you guys think on where she might be right now. Let's go find out. There is no telling where she could be. But y'all are awful calm over here. Y'all are awful calm. I'm looking. Now, what we got here? Anything? Anything? Queen. So, just so they had a little food tonight, I went ahead and threw that comb in there just a little bit. I'll take that back out in a day or two. I need to show you something. Can you see that right there? Come on. There's your queen. You guys didn't trust me. Mm -mm. Nope, didn't trust me. All right, so I'll put that all back in there just like that. All right, let's shake the last of them in there. Now, they'll be just fine. You guys get out the way. Come on. Come on. Look out. Get out the way. Real gentle. Look out. Look out. And perfect. Thanks to guys at Premier for an awesome box. This is about the third one I've had to use, and I love it. My friends at Aptime. You guys have made a, a awesome bottom board. Awesome bottom board. I'm going to stick with these just because I don't have to worry about them rotting like the wood ones. So, and it's got a pollen collector built into it. You just put, push the little piece in there and as they come in, they got a the, they can knock pollen off. You can collect it for a day or two, pull it out, and they go right back to keeping it themselves. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See ya.